on the event of Children's Day, let us look at a question from UPSC mains that's appeared two times, including the UPSC mains 2022 as a part of the ethics paper. This question here is a quotation of APJ Abdul Kalam. It pertains to the idea of raising good children who can create a nation of beautiful minds and what is the responsibility of parents in this regard and what is the responsibility of a teacher in this regard. Now, let's read this quotation. If a country is to be corruption free and become a nation of beautiful minds, I strongly feel there are three key societal members who can make a difference. They are father, the mother and the teacher. Now, should you distinguish between the roles and responsibilities of a father and mother? Is it ethically fair to make this distinction attributing values of leadership to father? Care and compassion to mother. Very, very stereotypical. You need to avoid this in your answer under all circumstances. So make a very bold opening remark stating that we cannot distinguish between the roles of a father and mother and go on to approaching your answer, putting them under the category of parents. Now, what points can you add under parents? Number one, it is very important that parents raise their children to be good human beings as their topmost priority. Marx is secondary, getting into an IIT is secondary, getting into a medical college is secondary. This is the topmost priority. Number two is to be able to imbibe in children the values of social equality, to make children look beyond barriers of caste, barriers of religion, barriers of region. Then it is important to provide a lot of emotional security to children, to make them have developed self-esteem, to have self-confidence, to not go into depression. Very, very important parental responsibility. Next is to develop an attitude of tolerance, tolerance to differences, making raising children to have a very inclusive mindset, a very democratic mindset where they agree to disagree and not dominate others on very narrow grounds. Next, imbibing values of gender equality in children. It is very important that parents do not unfairly discriminate between the son and the daughter. Very, very troublesome. Next, it is to make the child believe that he or she is no superior or inferior to anybody else. To have a non-hierarchical mindset is again extremely crucial and parents play a role in this context. Next, to also imbibe values of human relationship in children more than values of materialism. So we today live in an age where children are more obsessed with their mobile phone, completely overlooking the people that are around them. This is something that parents need to consciously avoid in their children. Next, developing confidence in children and how do you do it? by identifying their special talents, by nurturing these special talents. And this is what gives any child a lot of confidence if they are able to tap into their innate creativity and potential. Next, imbibing values of honesty in their children by themselves setting an example for their child to follow. Next, under teacher, what are some of the points that you can add? You can speak of the role of mentorship, the role of cultivating leadership qualities in children, then developing a multi-religious awareness, developing the spirit of secularism, developing the spirit of inquiry in children, making children ask why every time something is taught to them rather than focusing on rote memorization, developing social sensitivity. And it is very important that children at a very young age through the schooling system are able to realize that what they are learning, it is very important that they also know how to apply it both at the school level and also at the college level. Then it is also very important that teachers follow a very non-hierarchical approach in the classrooms to not discriminate between children on the basis of their background, their caste, whether their parents are very influential and powerful. Absolute uniformity is essential in the classroom. And this is how parents and teachers together can help create a nation of beautiful minds by developing certain qualities in every child that they deal with. 